After returning from the moon, each Apollo command module had to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Upon entry, three enormous parachutes would open and the capsule would float down, splashing into the ocean. You may think this would lead to a gentle landing, but because of the speed of the command module and Newton's laws, the crews had quite a jolt once they hit the water. Have you ever experienced a belly flop in a pool? You're seeing and feeling the same concept in action. I'm Clancy Hattelberg. I had the honor of being part of the Navy NASA team that was dedicated to bringing the astronauts home safe and very proud that we did. Clancy explained how to dive into the water from a helicopter, since you definitely don't want to belly flop. You have to have a tight body position. You want to make sure you go in feet first. The reason you want to go in feet first all relates back to Newton's laws. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. When you push against a wall, it pushes back with an equal force. When you jump into the water, it also pushes back with an equal force. When you go in feet first, you don't displace a whole lot of water, and it doesn't take as much force to move it. When you do a belly flop, the entire front of your body hits the water. That causes a lot of water to have to move at the same time. This takes a lot of force. As you hit the water, you are exerting a force, and the water exerts the same force right back. When the Apollo missions came back, they splashed down in the ocean. Not because it was soft, but because it allowed them to be away from people. The capsule entered the water at a bit of an angle so it didn't have to displace as much water. It was still quite a jolt. The same type of jolt future Orion crews will feel when they return to Earth in the same way. Even though these missions will be more than 50 years apart, Newton's laws will still be the same.